Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, July 18th, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, today we got a couple of different vulnerabilities uh, to report about that are already being exploited. Uh, let's start with Simbra. Simbra, the collaboration suite, uh, published a blog post that in version 8.8.15, there is a cross-site scripting vulnerability that is actively being exploited. Apparently, some attacks against systems in the Ukraine uh, used uh, this particular uh, vulnerability. However, there is no simple patch. If you're reading the Simpra block, it basically just advises you to edit a particular file and, uh, well, what the edit does is probably what it should do, and that's just escape XML. So basically, properly escape this uh, pre filled parameter in a form that uh, will then prevent the particular cross site scripting vulnerability from being exploited. Second vulnerability is older. That's a WooCommerce a vulnerability that uh, was uh, patched back in March, but again is now actively being exploited. WooCommerce is a payment plugin that uh, works with uh, WordPress. So somewhat po popular to create uh, these. The second vulnerability is a little bit older vulnerability, CVE 2023-28121. It's a vulnerability in WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a WordPress plugin that's frankly used to sort of build online stores on top of WordPress. Back in March, a critical vulnerability was patched in WooCommerce that allows authentication bypass. Essentially, any user may become an administrator exploiting this vulnerability. Beginning of July, RCE Security published some details about how to exploit this vulnerability. Looks like attackers were listening and now are exploiting this particular problem. It's actually one of those real simple ones where you set a specific header essentially to become administrator. So really easy to exploit once you know how to do it. There should have been an automatic patch being pushed out for WooCommerce user, but you probably want to double check and make sure you are running the latest and greatest version. And last week, as part of Patch Tuesday, we got the usual Adobe updates. One of the updates affected a cold fusion, CVE 2023-29300. This vulnerability is now actively being exploited. It had a CVSS rating of 9.8 and thus allow an unauthenticated user to remotely execute arbitrary command within vulnerable cold fusion installs. Affects cold fusion. 2018, 2021, and 2023. I'll link to an article by Bleeping Computer that has a few more details. For example, Adobe recommends that admins use the lockdown cold fusion installations that will actually prevent this particular vulnerability from directly being exploited. However, well, there was a second vulnerability that allows a bypass of the lockdown mode. And recent attacks against Microsoft's Outlook 365, of course, have yet again brought sort of cloud security into the headlines. CISA, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, is responding with a brief fact sheet listing some of the free tools that CISA offers in order to assess your cloud environment's security. So definitely something to look at. Uh, some of you may already be familiar with uh, some of these uh, tools, of course. And talking about cloud security, Jump Cloud today admitted that they were the victim of a compromise. Jump Cloud is critical in so far that it does offer identity management for other companies. So 
Jump Cloud being compromised means uh, that its customers may have uh, been compromised as well. According to Jump Cloud, only a small number of very specific and targeted customers were targeted in this uh, compromise. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.